Welcome back guys. So today I got a new video. I know I talked about the uh, Epson 6500A that I uh, chose over the L502 Affinia. And uh, just really quick, I'm not going to make this a long video, but I'm going to do an open box and on the printer, the printer itself here. And the box on top is uh, an extra set of inks and maintenance box. So the, the, the 6500A or just the 6500 series in general, to me just seems more commercially, like, like more industrial for uh, a work environment maybe maybe even seem like it has better longevity just the quality I mean the Finia stuff is great I almost went with the 502 and I might do that later if I don't go with the 801 but um, I'm not sold on the 501's internal components and the head setup typically with inks on the heads writing um, I just you know it just reminds me of old desktop printers and I, I just kind of want to stay away from that um, the 6500A the C6500A, just like I said, seems more commercial, more industrial, and it's big, it's bigger, it's a lot bigger. Um, and um, I just wasn't sold on the 502. I like the, the option of swip, swapping out the pigment ink, pigment ink and the dye inks um, on the fly like that. It's great if you need brighter colors, but um, people tell me that it's, it, you know, it, it's, it's brighter colors, but it's really not the best, you know? Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna diss the, the 502 because I like it, I like Affinia stuff. I like their designs and everything, so um, I just thought this was a better option. This was actually a little bit cheaper, too. It was, um, I don't know, like $300 cheaper, so something like that. I can't remember the exact price. But I also ordered the extra inks in the maintenance box because of the uh, the setup. Uses extra ink to get set up. Uh, salesman mentioned it to me, so and I don't want to be left without inks one day. So, anyways, I'm still new, so I'll do a quick uh, open box here. I ordered mine from uh, Texas Label printer or uh, supplies, whatever, and um, it shipped from uh, Kentucky. So this first box is just extra inks and a maintenance box. So a full set of inks and a maintenance box. And now for the uh, printer itself. big box um, when they delivered it they, they put it on the porch on the side it was on its side I don't know why they would do that but so right off the bat this is what you see when you open it up you got a sample roll of uh, labels cardboard here oh installation disc and manuals and a USB cord that's in the right right on the side there and then the power cord here. Nothing else on that. On the other side, I can see right off the bat there's inks. It's supposed to come with a full set of inks and a maintenance box. So, so far, I only see the ink. Maybe the maintenance box here is already installed. So it's a full set of inks, 80 mil, cyan yellow. Magenta and black. That's cool. A lot of times when you get printers, they don't larger ones for vinyl. They come with starter inks. So it was another thing with the uh, the 6500. The 80 mil ink capacity over 26 mil milliliters, and um, you know, uh, Evolu Designs did <clears throat> a great review on the 502, and there was some discussion regarding the ink consumption and uh, 502 being more efficient. And it may be the case, but I guess we won't know unless we do a side by side comparison. Um, but you know, 80 to 26, that would be a heck of a efficiency to, to use that much ink to be uh, equivalent to that so but I, I just like the ink setup on the five the 6500 because they're, they're not on the head they're they go on the side you know I like that you, you've seen the other videos so all right so I got my my other son here we're gonna take this out from the box I think I'm gonna move the plastic in here okay yeah it just opens up like that so you get it, everything's, you got boot tape on everything, the glass, 
uh, the plastic screens are all got plastic on it, and um, more than likely there's a handle uh, grab point here. Yeah. So I guess just to be safe, let's look and see it here if there's uh, instructions on lifting it out. So you don't put stress on uh, any particular part. No, it doesn't say there. I'm just looking at the manuals here to see if there's lift points, and I don't see any. Unless it's on this. Unless it's on here. It doesn't show. Yeah, it doesn't show. Yeah, it doesn't show. Well, you got this here. Yeah, there's two lift points. Okay, so look here. Can you see it on there, Ryan? It shows these two ghosts holding the printer. There's uh, slots on. I felt those slots when I stuck my hands in there. So. Are those covered by the. Yeah, we'll do that. Circle? Yeah, you'll see. Go ahead and take a look now. So I'll turn the camera now just to get ready. You can feel it already? Yeah. Let's get the camera ready here. That should be good. All right, so I'll get the, I'll get the front and the sides and get that set. So let's slide this over. So, see, you feel here? Hold down, you'll feel it. Okay, look. Just go careful over. It's not so bad, yeah. It definitely is, it looks a lot bigger in person. So there's the printer, and uh, there's my DTGs. That's how it comes out of the box, with all the blue tape everywhere. Say hi, Ray. Hi. This is my 13-year-old. Yeah, he's a monster too. My other son did that. Was in the other video. He's uh, like six three, he's a big boy, sixteen, and he is thirteen. That's and they're both taller than me now. Oh yeah. Ryan's already six feet tall. So that's the printer. So this color works C sixty five AU. I didn't know anything about the U. I'll be quite honest. The, the A represents the cutting, and that was another feature that I liked over the five hundred two. It has a cutter. Um, I didn't see it mentioned anywhere or mentioned in the instructions or anything about having an automatic cutter after you print a label. And they both print, you know, eight inch, eight three, eight five. So when it, you print out a, a continuous label. You can set it for cut length, so you can just spit out cuts on your label if you if you want to do it like that, or cut the last of your roll, um, which I think is really really unique. Um, but if you're doing edge to edge labeling, you could just straight cut them. Um, but I didn't see that on the 502. So this isn't going to be a setup. This is just going to be an open box video first. Um, but just so you could see, I mean. The measurements are online, but just to give you reference here, that's 20 inches long by 17 ish, 17 and a half ish. And then height is just about 12 and 3 quarters. So, so that's it. Are you, like, are you going to do like a video where you set out and stuff? I may, yeah. It's nice. It's a nice looking industrial setup, you know. See if the buttons are all good. It's got a nice cutter button here so you cut it. But yeah, that's it. C6500AU. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. Uh, share the videos too. And don't hit the notification. I know um, I'm still new. I'm, I'm, I'm hurting for subscribers, guys. So if you can help me out, I'd appreciate it. Um, it's a new channel to us, but not a new channel on YouTube. We've been on YouTube since like 2003, and I have a few other channels that are unrelated to this stuff. Um, and if you're first time here, this is our shop, that studio that I've been building, and if you watched the previous videos. Um, and then here's another teaser for the next video. I did the first... Uh, 
print with the rolling. The rolling's on. It's on sleep mode right now. But there's the first print. Actually, that's the first. Perfectly aligned, no head issues. I did it again. You have a better sheet that I can save. Well, you can see real nice on there. Look, it picks up the yellow better. Show them the other one. And then we got the, we got the other one we haven't set up yet. We're going to wait till we get this one going first. And it was like setting up a home printer. Just a quick teaser. I'll do a video, but it was so easy. Uh, it, the home printer setup just was no issue at all. So, all right. CC500A. Thanks, guys. Bye.